Hello everyone, my name is Jenna, but you guys can call me Jen and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Vlogmas week three. Hi, hello. It is currently Tuesday, December 15th. We are exactly halfway through Christmas and we have 10 days left, 10 sleeps left until Christmas itself, Christmas proper, which is so terrifying to me. I have so many books that I want to read and we're already near the end. <laughs> uh, this week, what am I going to be reading? I'm really hoping to finish up Black Sun in a bit. I am finishing my Christmas readathon today and tomorrow, so I will probably not read today and tomorrow for this, for like this vlog, but after that, I'm really hoping to wrap up and like consume all of Black Sun, hopefully consume all of Legendborn and get going with my Christmas r romances. I've only read two and I have so many on my list. Not only my, my remaining four physical ones, but my like, ebooks that I wanted to read that are like LGBTQ plus and and person of color and they look so fun so I might turn this weekend into a like romance novella binge fest because I have the ebook for Talia Hibbert's Wrapped Up in You already and that is a novella and I believe most of the other ebooks that I have set out are like not more than 200 pages a piece. They're all really quite tiny and some of them are less than 100 pages. So I think that would be really fun to just see if I can read as many as I can in one weekend. So that's my plan as of right now. This weekend, I don't know what the dates this weekend are. This weekend, the dates are the 18th, 19th, 20th, if you're looking at Friday. So we're already getting into the latter half of the Christmas season, getting so close to the actual Christmas day, which is insanity. I can't believe it. I can't believe we're already like 10 days away. Ugh. So that, that's gonna be my plan for this weekend is to try and read as many romance novellas as I can. Uh, during the week, my plan, like besides today and tomorrow, is to read as much of Black Sun and Legendborn as I can because I really wanna get those read before I film my favorites video, which as you guys already know, because it's been a week, my favorites video is going up this Wednesday for you guys. So in two days as to when you're seeing this, and I really hope that I can include both of those on my list because I just, I have this feeling. You know when you have a feeling? And I'm gonna be a little bit disappointed if they don't end up on my favorites list, but like also not because they're great anyways. Like I'm already really enjoying Black Sun and the few pages that I've read of Legendborn, really intrigued by. So I'm hoping that at least one of them gets onto my favorites list. And then I'm gonna have to look back at all the books that I've read and figure out my favorites list because I'm not entirely sure as to what it is. Anyways, friends, I will catch up with you guys in a bit. I have a work day ahead of me, and then tonight is gonna be spent reading for my Christmas readathon, but it'll be reading nonetheless. <laughs> I'm here. I got some cheesy bread in the oven. Some like makeshift cheesy bread. Like it's like a piece of Swiss cheese that's lactose free. Thin multigrain bread. <laughs> but it's cheesy bread nonetheless. And I have soup in the microwave being warmed up from yesterday. So that's my lunch. But I want to pop in because HarperCollins, which I totally forgot about, is hosting a readathon this week or like a follow along or something, a read along of All About Us by Tom Ellen. And this is on my list for reading. So my plan is to do just that. Not today probably or tomorrow, but once I can get on that readathon, I will. Cause I also have the audiobook for this cause it went on sale through Kobo for like $7. 
because of this readathon. So happy about that. But that's what I will be reading first out of all of these romances that I have, which is great. I'm expecting this one to be a little bit more along the lines of One Day in December than like 12 Dates of Christmas, like super fun and bubbly. But you know, we'll find out. We will find out because this one is pitched in the front here because this is an ARC copy of it. It's pitched as fans for One Day in December and Love Actually, which I am. Love Actually is one of my favorite Christmas movies ever. <sighs> so maybe when I read this, I'll have to watch the movie again. I will never not take an excuse to watch the movie again to do so. So that's awesome. But I have a fair amount of work left to do. I have a few articles that I need to edit. So that's gonna be my plan after lunch. I'm having a late lunch because it is already two. And then after that, I'm going into the city because my boss actually, or my other boss for my piano job, said that they have a Christmas gift waiting for me. So I'm gonna go pick that up today. Otherwise I won't be able to until we go back in studio for lessons. But I don't know when that's gonna happen. So I feel, I figured might as well go in today and do that. And I'll treat myself to a Starbucks because why not? I might even bring Bella with me. That's my day so far. I'm excited to start All About Us. I'm quite excited about this one. But yeah, just thought I'd pop in and let you know about that. But I will probably catch up with you later when I'm completely done my work day. <laughs> Days of today, the 17th of December. Oh my god, you guys, you guys, there's literally like a week until Christmas now. December, man, where is it going? This is coming so fast. <laughs> I'm sitting here in my office in a sweater that I bought this year, but like haven't worn a lot because it's a little bit more fancy and not as like it's very cozy, but it's not like loungewear, which I've been living in because you know, quarantine and like I don't leave the house. But I'm here and I'm currently editing my video that's gonna go up tomorrow. It is my Christmas readathon and I'm trying to get it under 30 minutes because I know you guys don't mind if there's like a longer vlog, but my computer very much minds whenever I try to export it from iMovie, anything over 28, 29 minutes. My computer has a great, great time just having a pure panic over it. So that's not good for my computer. <laughs> I would rather not break it doing long videos. So I'm trying to get it down. It's currently at 32 minutes and I've already edited it once. So I'm gonna go back through and I'm gonna remove like spaces and see if like I can remove things that I don't, that I say that like don't need to be in there if I say them multiple times, you know? So that's what I'm doing right now. But it is currently Thursday. It is very gloomy outside. You can't really tell because backlight, but earlier it was really sunny and I went for a walk with Bella that didn't really last very long because she puked on herself. So I had to come home and clean her up but it was sunny and it was kind of nice, but now it is overcast and gloomy. So, well, I, I had a winter, man. But yeah, it is like the typical winter icy day. Like it's white gray from top to bottom. Last night, I ended up reading to over the halfway mark of Black Sun. I don't remember exactly what page I'm on, but I think I remember I'm on chapter 22 and it's so good. It moves so quickly because I read up until like I was on page like 175 and now I'm on like 259, 260 something. And I read that in like less than an hour. So I think I have a great chance of finishing it pretty quick and I am really liking it, but I do have a feeling that it's not gonna be on my favorites list. <laughs> I'm Unless the ending like absolutely blows me away, which is a very high possibility because I'm still like, I think I'm 57% of the, percent of the way through, not entirely sure but it's still really good and really intriguing and I'm loving it, so that's awesome. I'm really excited to get to Legendborn 
and to do my like romancy weekend. I think I'm gonna focus mostly on like Friday, Saturday, Sunday for that. And I would also really like to start the All About Us by Tom Ellen because HarperCollins is doing that like read along thing. And I would like to join along. <laughs> It'd be kind of fun to like do something like that. So that is my plan for this weekend. As of today though, I'm gonna finish up this video and then I gotta do a few things. Yesterday, my best friend from high school came and like dropped off a gift for me, which is great, like really serendipitous because earlier yesterday, I finished wrapping all my gifts that I needed to wrap and hers was one of them. So she's like, hey, are you home? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, okay. And she showed up 20 minutes later and I was like, you have great timing because I literally wrapped this today. So we had it, we had a little bit, she just kind of stood in my kitchen cause we can't like hug or anything. And it, she really like, and where I am, it's like, we're not supposed to have people over either. Like there's huge restrictions and stuff like that. So it's just one of those things that she kind of just stood there with her mask on and we like had a chat and she unwrapped her gift, I unwrapped mine. It was so lovely, but also kind of sad cause I couldn't give her a hug. Other than all my reading this weekend, I'm hoping to watch some more Christmas movies. Like over the past few weeks, my mom has had the like W Network Hallmark movies on constantly. And like, they're great. Like Hallmark movies are great because you can kind of come in at any moment and you're like, I know what's happening because they're all the same. And it was really funny because there was one that was on like, the other weekend, like it was Monday, and I when I was baking my cookies, uh, cause I baked some cookies for my Christmas readathon video, I was watching and I like looked at my mom and it wasn't even five minutes in and we kind of like got the premise a little bit, like this family is running an inn and it's like a surprise that their dad did this to them and they have to like help him run it over the holidays. And there's this big critic, this like blogger critic person who's coming and they don't know it's a B Turner. So like no genders attached to it, that kind of a thing. So they don't know who it is. And this lady shows up and they're like, bet you this lady's B Turner because her name is like Beth Thomas or something, BT, right? But earlier in that, earlier, like two, se two minutes before, the girl of the movie bumps into a guy in a shop and like, you can tell that they're gonna be the love interest of this movie. And so I kind of looked at my mom and was like, this is my prediction, five minutes in. B Turner is the guy and they're gonna assume it's the lady the whole time and treat her like a queen, but like treat the man like a normal guy, like a normal customer. And it's gonna be like this like whole mix up. And she's like, you think? And I'm like, oh, I know. Like I haven't even seen this, but I know because I do <laughs> these movies are all the same and they're so predictable. But it was, it was cute, it was cute. Some of them are pretty damn cute. And we've watched, I think about five in full now, which is ridiculous because we don't usually watch Hallmark movies, but we are. I need to watch The Holiday again. I've already watched it this season. I need to watch The Love Actually in full because I've only watched half of it. And I need to also watch Arthur Christmas, The Santa Claus, and Home Alone. Those are my five. We've also already watched Christmas with the Cranks, which is one of my favorites as well, but I have a list of Christmas movies that I need to watch. I should go. I haven't talked to anybody all day, so this is my interaction. <laughs> I'm gonna go take out the recycling and continue editing my video, and I'll catch up with you later. friends. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. I'm here. I just got home from playing Santa and I just finished my coffee. I went and dropped off my friend's gifts, picked up my own gift from one of them, dropped one of their friends, like one of their gifts off to the other person. It was a whole thing. It took me a long time, but it was so fun because I haven't seen them in a while and it was just nice to get out of the house. Not a whole lot's going on. I'm gonna read, I think, now. I listened to a little bit of the audiobook to All About Us by Tom Ellen, and I'm just not feeling it right now. So I think I'm gonna try and read a bunch of, I think I wanna pick up Legendborn, even though I'm not done Black Sun yet. I think I'm gonna pick up Legendborn and see how much I can get done in that one. Yeah, <laughs> it's a Friday. It's been a busy day. We cleaned the house. We gave Bella a haircut, and now she's like homebrew haircut. <laughs> it looks 
it looks good surprisingly because her hair is the hardest to cut like you keep cutting it and it just looks so uneven because she's got so much of it <sighs> but i think she looks good and it's just to tie her over until the new year when our groomers opens back up again but i'm gonna go get legendborn and read Good morning, my lovely friends. Happy Saturday. I'm here in my library to chat with you because why not? It's nice and sunny in this room today, which is very rare. I'm gonna start my like romancy weekend now um, because last night I ended up reading almost to page 200. Like I'm like two pages off of Legendborn and I'm really liking it. It's so good. So I'm gonna hopefully be finishing that one this weekend at some point as well. But as for romances, I have two physical ones that I would like to get to today at some point, Royal Holiday and Mistletoe and Mr. Right. And then I also have a few on my iPad that I've bought already. Don't remember their names exactly, so let me pull them up. So I have Under the Mistletoe, if it would focus on it. There we go, Under the Mistletoe and Most Wonderful. So these are both like lesbian love stories and I'm very excited about them. I also have, of course, a few other options <laughs> saved on like the Amazon wish list or whatever. So we will see where my romancy reading gets me, but I'm very excited. I think first and foremost, I'm gonna start with Royal Holiday because I've been thinking about this book for a few days and I really wanna get to it. So let's go upstairs, make ourselves a coffee and start reading. I am now 53 pages into Royal Holiday, and I gotta say, it feels exactly like a Hallmark movie, and I'm loving it. <laughs> I am really enjoying this, and I'm hoping it goes by quickly. It should, because I'm already, as I said, 50-some pages in, and I don't know exactly how long I've been sitting here. I've finished my tea now, so there's that, but like that's not hard to do when it's a smaller cup of tea. It felt fitting to make myself a cup of tea this morning to be reading with this, but yeah, this is where I am and I'm enjoying it very much. Hey friends, it is now a fair amount later. I've had my dinner and all that stuff and I've finished two books today so far, which is great. Please excuse the red of my cheek. I was leaning on it like this. <laughs> I finished Royal Holiday by Jasmine Guillory. I am giving this one three stars. It was okay. It just didn't have like really any Christmassy cheer to me. It was missing that, I think. If you like, if this had been injected with it, I think it would have been a lot better. But yeah, I don't, it was it was enjoyable. It was cute, and it felt like a Hallmark movie. Just was missing a lot of the Christmas cheer. And then I ended up reading Most Wonderful by Bryce Oakley, and it was good too. And I gave that one three stars. Middle of the road totally okay. I don't know, there's just like something about these books that is just not grabbing me, but it's okay. They're enjoyable and they're Christmassy in a way, so what else can you ask for? <laughs> I think I'm gonna take a break from my eyeballs because I've read over 500 pages today. I think I'm gonna go crochet because I haven't crocheted in a little while and I need to hopefully have mom's sweater done by Christmas, which I don't know how that will turn out, but maybe I can get a good chunk of the front panel done today. That would be nice. And then the arms this tomorrow, this weekish, and then put it together and the ribbing and stuff like that for the neck. But yeah, that's that's what's up, you guys. Not a whole lot. Tomorrow I have a Skype call with my friends. 
we are doing, we do like a, I guess we're doing like a weekly thing now where we do like weekly crochet club. And because we're in lockdown and one of my friends is out of province, we've been also opening our Christmas gifts on these things. So whoever has their Christmas gifts from whomever they open it up on, on these things, which is fun. So I think I have one to open tomorrow and then my two friends have theirs to open from me tomorrow and from each other tomorrow. It'll be a good time. Gonna go watch Critical Role and crochet. Hello friends. Welcome to my bubble wrap. There we go. Move that out of the way. Hello. It is now Sunday. I am here with my freshly washed hair that is looking very limp and gross right now. It doesn't actually look that bad from like the front, but everything else is terrible. I need a haircut. <laughs> so bad. Hi, hello. I'm here. I just had my lovely Skype call with my friends and I opened up one of the gifts from them, from one of them, from Sarah. And oh my God, you guys, I'm literally so excited about it. Also crochet, cause crochet club is Sundays now. We just have crochet club every Sunday, but I got this from my friend Sarah and I am literally losing my mind. It is a stamper that says on the inside, it says library of Jen and then my last name. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> and it kinda, it's like, let's see if I can show you it without like showing you my last name because that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> To show you my last name. Wait, what, which page did I do it on? Oh, the very first one. So it like, it like stamps it like that, which is so fun. Like, look at it, it's so pretty. Library of Jen, and it's got such things. So my friend ordered it from Amazon and it is so pretty. And I'm gonna do this to all of my books. <laughs> I also am planning on redoing all my bookshelves and like reorganizing them. Because right now I have them organized by alphabetical order by author. That's it. So like all the genres are mixed in together and I low key want to like organize them by genre, fantasy, contemporary, and like historical, like that kind of a thing. Why? I don't really know. Cause literally my bookshelves are probably gonna be all fantasy, but I, I wanna do it also so that I can like put my middle grade books together because I would love to have the Rick Riordan and imprints books all together on a shelf. Cause I think they would look really pretty together, but I think that might be my job for next weekend. Like the weekend between Christmas and New Year's, that would be super fun to do. And then when I do that, I can officially like count how many books are left on my TBR and let you guys know how many books are on my TBR. Because I know we started this year with 180 some, not counting my classics. And then in, during the summer, I was down to like 130 some from like unhauling and reading. If you guys have seen my haul, I have now hauled over 60 books since August. So I'm worried at what that does to my TBR. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very worried. So we'll have to do that, but I'm gonna mark all my books with Library of Jen. It's gonna be so exciting. I'm so excited about this. And it is so lovely. Like it has such a pretty like design on it. Oh, 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 love it. Anyways, friends, that's what's up. I'm going to clean up my office a little bit, put my dishes away and then spend a little bit of time crocheting before I dive back into my romance books. It is now a little bit later. I'm here with the bench <laughs> and I've officially finished one book today. It was a lovely novella. It was the Talia Hibbert novella. I cannot believe I forgot about that one and I ended up giving it three and a half stars. It was so fun and just typical Talia Hibbert humor but I wish there was more Christmas to it. There was no Christmas to it. It was just set over Christmas. All of these books are giving me no Christmas vibes and I'm very angry about it. <laughs> but it was still super cute and I enjoyed it immensely. So there is that, but yeah. Now I've got a movie queued up because even though I have actually Christina Lawrence in the holiday days with me, I really just want to watch a movie and I think I'm going to watch Bridget Jones's Diary, <laughs> which is a slightly Christmas movie because it does have bits that are set at Christmas. I think it like 
wraps around till Christmas so it's one of those and I love Bridget Jones Diary. I watched it for the first time last year around Christmas so maybe that's why it's Christmassy to me. Uh, but that's what I'm going to do. Not a whole lot else. I think I'm also going to end this vlog here. This week I got a good chunk done of Legend Born. I still haven't read any more than that. I think I'm on page like 200 or something. Haven't read anything of Black Sun either. But I'm hoping to have those two polished off soon. I know I keep saying that, but I, I don't keep, I don't do it, but you know, it's fine. I'll do it eventually. <laughs> but yeah, this weekend I tried to make it my, like, a romance weekend where I caught up on my romances and I did end up reading three, which is not bad. I read two novellas and a novel. I read Royal Holiday by Jasmine Guillory. I read Most Wonderful by Bryce Oakley. And then I just finished Wrapped Up in You by Talia Hibbert, so three Christmassy romances under my belt. Those three all didn't really feel that Christmassy to me, which is fine. I'm hoping that my last two that I have, I have In a Holiday Days by Christina Lauren, which I've heard is very Christmassy. So I think I'm gonna pick that one up tonight once my movie's over. And then I have Mistletoe and Mr. Right, which I'm hoping to have with me this week going into Christmas. And then after that, I also have All About Us by Tom Ellen, which I didn't really like the audiobook for. I don't know if that was because I was just was not in the mood for an audiobook in my car, uh, but I will try again with the actual book, maybe also the audiobook as well, but I will try again. I have a feeling that one's not going to be like super Christmassy anyways, so that will be probably between Christmas and New Year's. And then I have three books that I want to finish. I'm in the middle of three fantasies. I have Black Sun, Hero of Ages, and Legendborn that all hopefully will be done before the end of the year. <sighs> Lots of reading to do, my friends. Lots of reading. That's all right. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video if you did, and I will catch you in another video soon. Stay kind and keep on reading.